Hey everyone, welcome back to another 31 Minute Podcast. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Gordon. Good morning. Um, so, just want a bit of a shout out to Corey. Corey rang the other day and he wanted us to do one on adversity. You're right. Um, yep. So, Corey's one of our owners slash friend now. And um, so, we'll, we'll mix that in, but I really want to talk about um, overwhelmedness. Yeah. Overwhelmed, the emotion of overwhelmed. And the reason for that is you, Jordan. Mm. You have been in a weird space lately. Yeah, I have. Yeah. And <laughs> was it super talk keen to talk it? about this today, talk us through it? Here we are. Uh, <laughs> <well>. <laughs> I don't know. How do I explain it? Well, let, oh, my observation mm. is you're like you're working hard, you're doing all that sort of stuff. So you started, you're excited, mm. you're building, you get to a point where you you know, you get a few runs on the board. This, well, you know, we're years into your career now, but I reckon you've hit a flat spot. Mm. I reckon you've hit a sp- flat spot emotionally and energetically. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it's this is not a criticism at all. It's more just an observation. And you're like, and I'm watching Jordan used to ring me all the time and go, um, "Let's go, let's go." Now you don't even call. Mm. So it's like. Not that, not that that's a problem. It's just that you're getting up later. You're not as like on a. You've been running at a fast pace the whole time. It's like driving your car in the red zone on for years. It's, yeah, it's like yeah. accelerated down, not servicing it and expecting it to perform well. Mm. You know, have you ever driven? Sorry, you're going to say something. But have you ever driven really fast for like, you know? an hour or something and you pull up the car the cars are all hot and yeah. you can hear the brakes Almost creaking. out of fuel yeah, yeah and it's like you get out of it and it's got that brake smell that's a bit like where you're at mm. but i'm trying to work it out too like i said to you this morning like what do i do like mm. and we had a performance meeting yesterday about how's everybody feeling and all that sort of stuff and i've almost broke down in tears yeah much. you did like you almost you almost had a breakdown but you know the, the good the good part about it mm. is Oh, I did a video yesterday before the a breakdown always precedes a breakthrough. Yeah. Monday starter. Monday starter. Yeah. So you, you're in a great spot, mm. but you can either, you're in a bit of a, a crossroad, I reckon. Mm. And the emotions are very important. So yeah. emotions are talking to you about where you're going. Mm. So when you're feeling frustrated or anxious, or overwhelmed. Overwhelmed is an emotion. Mm. It's it's an emotion in the the negative zone. So where the, where the negative zone starts is boredom, mm. and then below that, like um, what we, what emotion we just talking about? Um, overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Yeah. So, <laughs> overwhelmed. Um, anger, fear, anxiety, depression. All of those are down like the negative part of the zone. Mm. Above that is passion, mm. excitement, mm. eagerness. But think about where you're at. You don't have the same eagerness, do you? No. And appreciation is right at the top. So let's just use that scale from it. It's a very real scale, mm. whether you like it or not. Mm. If, you, if you run around anxious all the time, you watch what happens. You start to, Things don't go very well. Mm. Things don't flow. And if you're in an overwhelmment, you'll actually start to like go down this... Thing. I reckon that's how people start to get like a bit depressed mm. almost. Well, well, this is what I try and think in my head. And I was just saying it to you offline before this. When I did university, I worked five days a week. And let, let me jump in for one minute. Hold that thought. Mm. You walked in the, the door here mm. and you said, I said, how are you today? And you said, I just can't get in front of the energy. Mm. I did say that. You did, didn't you? Yeah. So I want to hear exactly what you got to say there. But can you see it's an, mm. it's an energy game first? Yeah. So unless and I, what did I say to you? You just got to let yourself click back into gear. Yeah, because you go, oh, I'm just going to go to the gym. I'm just going to go to the gym, make myself go to the gym in the morning. And I said, no, 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 don't do that, mm. because your energy isn't in the right place first. Mm. So we're going to talk about that. Keep going. This is what I was trying to trying to think in my head. Like overwhelm is just handling too many things, really. But I look back over the years. No, that's not you right. You don't think so? No, that's not right at all. How how can someone run? 50 companies and not be overwhelmed i just think you've only got so much time yeah but no think about other people like yeah think think about like they have other people pick like help 
Like you couldn't run fifty companies on your own. Yeah, that's right. But yeah. but they're not overwhelmed. Some people like mm. you, know, whether it's Gary V or I, I don't know these people, but mm. John McGrath or mm. you know people who run large organisations, they're not necessarily over. Some of them are so pumped that it's not funny. Mm. You know, like but, but, but going back a few years, like I, I've pretty much worked what I do now forever. Like this, you are only twenty six. No, I know, but like. <laughs> It's not like it's only just changed this year and I've become overwhelmed. We're going to like, talk about why. We're going to keep going. What and you're I'm saying. interested to know this, but yeah. like, let's go back to university. And I was saying I yeah. worked full time and studied. Yeah, had no issues. Mm. Did that with my eyes shut. And then, like when I first started in real estate, did the whole up at four thirty, dropping letters, that thing for years and years and years. No, no issue. Still was full energy. And go back a couple of years ago, I still get up at four o'clock in the morning. Still working twelve hours a day. No issues. Pumped. This is a new thing for me. So for me, I'm going like, what's happening? Nothing's changed for me. I still am doing the same amount of stuff as I've been doing for years and years and years. But it feels like now I just can't beat it. Like, mm. I don't know. Or I can't manage it. It's like it. you're in front of a fire hose and it's not turning off and you want to get out of the water. Yeah. But it's just spraying you the well, whole time. Well, well, last night I had to make a decision. 8.30 I think it was. I decided, okay, well, that's enough for today. I have to just let... St- like leave that until tomorrow but the stuff that i told that i'd get the the things that i told the people i'd get to them yesterday i was doing this morning at five o'clock so that's the first thing i'm doing this morning yeah. and like now that we're talking i'm already thinking about what i need to do as soon as i sit at my desk yeah. in 20 minutes so oh i i know exactly where you're at and it's not it's, a bad thing it's actually yeah. a fantastic thing mm. because i'm sorry to jump in yeah I'd, i'm just like keen to help you like with this part because mm. it's it's like the best part you could be in mm. the feeling of overwhelmed is nothing more than a bit of a, um, it's a bit of like a temperature check. Why do you think people end up in overwhelm space? Um, because their inability to focus a lot of the time. Mm. So, and and also, I, I don't get as um, as you mature, mm. you don't get as phased by the things that you drop. Mm. You know? So I worry massively yeah, about I what people think. You're, you're, you're carrying it all. Mm. So here's a good example. My owner rang, my owner, our owner, wrote an email last night, and I'm pulling it up now, but it's very long. Yeah. And I said to Steve, don't write me emails like that, please, anymore. I don't read them. Mm. He's like, oh, really? I said, no, pick up the phone and ring me. Mm. He's like, oh, okay. So I've just created a new boundary with Steve. Mm. He's such an emailer. Mm. He said he was sat there for an hour writing this email. Mm. When to me, I'm like, I can't read that. Yeah, it's, it's too much time. So you got to you got to be f- phenomenal with protecting your own energy first. Mm. I, I'm in a slightly different position than you are because you're building. Your, he might take offence to you doing that. Yeah, but you can still do the same thing. Like you can still say to Steve. Like email, long emails, I get lots, lots of calls during the day, but I'm most effective on the phone. Mm. So if you can, maybe just ring me and we'll bounce it around. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah, you're, I creating a, you're creating a bit of a parameter. Because I know if I sat there and read that, it gives me anxiety. Yeah. So my frequency changes. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. And then you've got to get in front of what's going to give you reactiveness. It's all, Where you're at is you're, you're stuck in the, the ditch of reactive. Mm. Aren't you? Mm. Even I'm looking at you. I know you're not present right now. Yeah. I know you're thinking like this person, that person, this person, that person. Yeah. So, yeah. It's well, let's talk about let's talk th- about you. Well, well, wait. Yeah. Wait. So, what are the things that are going to make you feel when you walked in the house today? Mm. What time was it? Se- was it seven twenty. Yeah, seven twenty. Yeah. What was I doing? You are on the phone to one of our owners. I was on the phone to one of our owners. Yeah. Who lives in the country, whose auctions this weekend. Mm. What was I talking about? The reserve, how it's going to play out on the weekend. Yes. Mm. So it's Tuesday today mm. and I'm talking about the reserve already. You know why? Because I want that off my plate, him thinking about it. I already sort of know where it's at. This is what we need to do, blah, blah, blah. Then the rest of the week, I don't have him chasing me. Yeah. You know, I don't have him like... Oh, we've got to catch up and set the reserve. What do you think? Reserve? I'm, I'm do- I've done it all. So in my mind, I'm like, click. I like cut the balloon. Because mm. if you don't cut the balloon and sort it out, mm. 
like if you don't cut the balloon, it like stays in your head. Like mm. it, and you, before you you know it, you got all these balloons in your head, mm. and they're they're like you're just so suffocated mm. by all of these things that you need to do and people's expectations and more mm. calls and more calls and more calls and things and you can't get ahead of anything. Yeah. So first of all, you need to know what makes you feel good and what doesn't. Mm. The things that don't make you feel good that you have to attend to, you got to get it done early. Mm, straight away. Off your plate. Good example, Jordan. There was a unit that you sold that I made a mistake on the price. Mm. Yeah? Yep. How much was the unit sold for? Two million. What was the price? What now? Well, what was the price that it was should have been? Two point five million. Two point five. As of yesterday, had you called the people? No. No. That was a week ago. Mm. Yeah? You should have picked the phone up straight away and said, Hey, Matt's made a mistake. Why didn't you call them? Because I'm, I'm I want to try and solve it another yeah, way. But you're fearful of their reaction. Definitely. Yeah. But can you see that one, just that one thing mm. by not dealing with the hard conversation up front, boom, done, finish, blame me, whatever. Mm. You've carried that for a week. Yeah. Because I'm trying to find them another option. So when I call them, it's not as bad a news. Yeah. There is no option. Yeah. But I said to you call straight away, mm. but you didn't. Mm. So you've got that and then you've got times that by a hundred other things. Then you've got all my calls. Just so people listening to this, all my f- unanswered phone calls go to you. Mm. So you've got your own business to run, plus you've got my business to take care of. Yeah. Yeah. So how many $2 million units has been a stuff up on, do you think, are in all of that across a week? Yeah, hundreds. Lots. Yeah. And then owners calling, say, hey, Jordan, where's this? And then we forget the keys to go here or this happens here mm. or that. So all of a sudden, Jordan's got 45 things just in a week that you've got to take care of and run and this and that. And then I say to you yesterday, go and drop letters off in the morning because we're not have a cadet at the moment. Mm. Go and drop letters off. What's your answer? <laughs> not a chance. Not a chance. But to me, it's super important. But mm. to you, you're not interested because mm. it's like I can't fit nothing else in. Yeah. And then what did you say yesterday? You were doing a proposal the night before for three hours. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. Yeah. And then you've got – on a Sunday, yes. And then you've got ash. And it's all compounding. Mm. So how do, we f- how do we fix it? First – Well, that was our discussion yesterday. Yeah. First, you've got you to make a decision whether you are where you want to be. Mm. That's the first thing. Because if you're somewhere where you don't, like if you're in a relationship where you don't want to be, if you're in um, a job where you don't want to be, I don't care what you do. Mm. you're not going to want to fix it. Mm. But if, like, with us, so say McGrath, we were talking yesterday, yeah. I love McGrath. Mm. I love it. For sure. I'm happy in McGrath. I love McGrath. So I've been where you are 50 times. Mm. But the first thing is I actually enjoy what we're building. Yeah. Like, I enjoy that. I enjoy the people we work with and I enjoy the company. So mm. that's fine. Tick box, forget about it. Mm. The next part is myself. Mm. So am I fueled or not? Mm. Do I, am I fueling my energy or not? So are you? It could be better. I would say no. Mm. I would say no, nowhere near what you could be doing. So let's forget work for a minute because this is not a work thing. This is an energy thing. Mm. What would you be missing out on in your life at the moment? I can't really think of that the would last make, time I did would, anything. It would make person. you feel good. So is it playing a PlayStation for an hour a day or is it seeing your grandma pro- pro- a few probably, times? No, I did. In, I liked my morning routine going back a few years ago. Okay, but so do you have I, one now? No, well, what did I say this morning? When I woke up this morning to go to the gym at 4.30, I chose to sat and, to sit and do work rather than because yeah, I felt Yeah, here we like, go. Yeah. So do you have a morning routine now? No. No, but you used to. I did. So that's the first thing we need to look at. Mm. That That's a Jordan thing. Mm. So... You know, what does that look like? And it doesn't have to be massive. It might even just be have a bath. You don't have baths, but it mm. might be have a bath. So Logan every morning goes for a surf, come home, has a bath, yeah, frigs around, does his thing. I do my thing as well. And I, I get my energy settled mm. before I go to work. I don't go to work frantic. Mm. You know, like I make a few calls here. You see me sit on the balcony here sometimes. Yeah. And what time do I get to work? Nine. Nine. Very rarely earlier than that. Yeah. Sometimes a touch later than that. And I make a decision when, it, when I go to work based on how I feel, not based on the tasks that I'm doing. So I make the porridge, do the thing. The routine's always the same. So you, you, you'll go into work when you feel good? When I feel good. Mm. I, and look, some people might work, work in a job 
where they're expected to be in at this time. But I think that's getting less and less these days. Mm. Like, but you might be a receptionist, but what you've got to do is own your morning still. So you've got to say, so, all right. So by so about the time you need to get in, you're starting to feel great. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So you're in a bit of a flow. Mm. That That is one of the most important things you can do because you're not going to ex- – we're going to tackle the overwhelmment in your, in your job in mm. a sec or in your career. But the morning, unless you own your morning, you don't own the day. Mm. And you just don't. You, ca- you can't because you're not in control of your energy. And a great example of that is you today. Mm. You're like forcing enjoyment. I'm going to go to the gym. Yeah. And I said, no, 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 don't go to the gym. You'll probably get injured. Yeah. <laughs> you probably will. Yeah. Or you'll go there and you'll, you won't be connected to it. You'll be like just doing it. It's not going to make you feel great. Your mind's going to be elsewhere. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then so you get to work and then what do you do? You're just straight into everything. Straight into yeah. everything. But I reckon you need to compartmentalise a little bit. So I get to work and I make all the hard calls first. Mm. You don't, you're with me, but you don't listen to everything because you're doing yeah. your own thing. Yeah. I make all the calls I need to make first that's going to distract my energy for the day. Mm. All of them. And if I don't, I carry that one thing around until it gets done. So if I put it off and put it off and put it off, I'm not able to be present with people. Yeah. And if there's... There's nothing worse than sitting in a house thinking about something else. Uh, totally. Like you're sitting here half in, half out. Mm. I, I can see it. You're like, I've got to get into the day, la, la, la. Mm. But the Jordan that's engaged, because you, you're not even smiling. Mm. You have the best smile. You have mm. like a smile that lights the room up. But now you're just like, mm. yeah. you're like that emoji with a straight face. Yeah. Like, mm, mm. And you can see, faces tell the best story. You can see people's um stress levels you can see their thoughts you can see mm. everything on their face yeah so you're like mm, yeah <laughs> mm. i can i feel like that that's right yeah so let's take today so it's seven forty-five or something today when you get into work what are a few key things that you got to do to start because i'm going to help you over the next week two three four it's not a, it's not an easy fix it's, this is not listen to a podcast and fix your energy mm. what are a few things today that could start changing the ability to get in front of your energy. I think I've got to put less in my day. Like I think I, because I've only got so many hours. By the time, like even on Saturday, I'm trying to like think how I'm going to fit everything. I'm probably going to have to work half Sunday this week, just because of good. But what's what's my rule? No Sundays. No but Sundays. You, but in my head, I I'm care. like can't fit it anywhere. I'm not else. interested. Mm. You can't. That's no Sunday work. Mm. That's a rule, Jordan. Mm. Can you see how your rules get bent because mm. of overwhelmment? Mm. Sunday is a recharge day. Yeah. Non-negotiable, that's it. Every time you do an appointment, do I get annoyed? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'd rather lose the sale yeah. than lose you. Mm. Can you see what I mean? Mm. Lose you in the energy of, I just don't like this. Mm. Well, we spoke about it yesterday. <laughs> Last night, with my day today, I'm thinking, like, how am I going to make that work? So I'm going to sleep thinking like i think it would be almost like a a doctor fitting six appointments in comfortably but yeah. putting in 12 yeah like you already start the day with a bit of anxiety yeah, but you do. it's not enjoyable no it's not it's the worst feeling ever yeah but um i don't know where we're getting with that yeah but we're just so the morning so, I, I, so, I, so I, mm. speak to owners straight away Yes, because yep. owners speak are the to all the hard people straight away yeah owners straight away get yep. the prospecting out of the way cuz that's done yeah and line of your appointments with a bit of space because i've been sitting in mo's at the moment and like looking at the time yeah okay which great. i hate doing so let's do a couple of things here so the morning's yours mm. you're going to get into work at nine mm. but you don't need to be in at work at seven thirty. yeah like you can but you don't need to be mm. I, i'm a big fan of having your energy flowing feeling good and that might be, we just talked about it, it might be surfing, like Jordan. It mm. might be, you've got to do what your heart's telling you to do. It might just be walking. It might be just doing nothing. Yeah. It might be just cruising around. It might be just sleeping in for a while. Mm. You know, you've got to find that sort of float. Your heart will tell you. Yeah. Then you're going to get in and you're just going to bang out some calls. The owners, the things, the people who are going to make you feel reactive, you want them done. Yeah. The next part is prospecting. So what's my, what have I been banging on about lately? An hour minimum of prospecting. Hour minimum of prospecting. But that not, might not be re- realistic at the moment. Mm. 
So this is a good conversation to have because even though Matt says, and we're all different, mm. I might make an hour of prospecting in all sorts of chaos, but you mm. might not be able to. Mm. But you might say, you know what, I'm just going to do 10 calls. Mm. 10 calls for the next month or however long, don't put a time frame on it, yeah. 10 calls only, and you're going to call around a result or something like that. Yep. You know, Or you're going to go and do a bit of door knocking and give out 10 reports or something that is just – so if you don't do it, you're going to feel worse. Yeah. That's so true. Yeah. If you don't do it, you sort of feel like you're being a bit fake and you know you've it's going to catch you down. somewhere. Yep. Yeah. So it's like you've got to you've got to um, find that part where you go, yep, you've got to look at the task and go, I'm keen to do it mm. and it's not making me feel like I'm overwhelmed. I'm keen to go out and meet 10 people. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah. And you give your phone to Ash or the mm. flow over phone to Ash and just say, Ash, I'll be back in a bit. We're going to do this. Yeah. yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. Here's the tip for the next part. You can't control the next part of the day. Yeah. Yeah. What's so true. The next part is just... a washing machine. Yeah. The next part is just whatever happens, happens. Yeah. But what time are you going to finish work, Jordan? This is what I'm interested in. How does your late afternoons look? I've been finishing... I go home and eat dinner at about 7, 7.30. That's when yeah. I went home last night and then I'll eat and work for another hour or so okay so i want you to remember a saying that john mcgrath has mm. fantastic mm. if you can't get everything done between seven and seven you're doing something wrong mm. and i really agree with that you have a team of six people with you yeah so we're going to look at how to leverage all of this mm. so you can finish at no later than seven o'clock every day i'd like you to finish earlier yeah you know sometimes real realistically you can't yeah but i'd love you to get home sometimes at five yeah. And just make calls. I, I trust you. We yeah. don't need to watch you where you are. You don't mm. watch me. I don't watch you. Mm. We just know we're all on it. Yeah. But wouldn't it be good to go home at five o'clock sometimes and just put the telly on, sit on the sit on the um, deck and just make some calls and mm. do it your way, the mm. way you think? Already. Wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. But already you've got a bit of a smile on your face. Yeah. Can you see the energy free up a little bit? Mm. Even by thinking about it? Yeah. So I want you to remember it is a focus thing. Let me ask you one, one more question, which is constantly in the back of my mind. I, you, you look at all of these Elon Musk, these type of people, these CEOs that slept in offices, dedicated their whole life to a thing to get further ahead. Like I wonder, do you need to be in overwhelm for growth and to actually yeah. become the in the one percent? Because no, no, you do. Yeah, there, there's a difference between growth and excitement and overwhelmed and breakdown. Mm. There's a difference. Like, what did you do back, back going back years ago? I, I held on yeah. and gritted my teeth. Looking back now, I could have done it. The and, and, and the same with me. I'd never give up. Yeah, Why but would you're you, not giving you? up. Yeah, you're adjusting. Yeah. So the difference is, you've got to listen to your emotions now. You've got mm. to listen to your body. You've got to listen to your thoughts. You've got to listen to all of that. Your energy pattern. We need some ease now, because mm. if you don't get some ease, you're going to go down further. You're going to become less productive. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna jiggle it around now. So you're gonna have some ease. Yep. If you sell one less house, who cares? Mm. But you know what's going to happen? Once you find the ease and you click back in and you find that flow again, you're going to sell 10 more houses. Yeah. That's the difference. When you hear Elon Musk say, I'm going to sleep in the office, that's for a period of time. Mm. He doesn't live there. Mm. That's because he needed to knuckle down. And that might be, the, the same thing might be when the market changes for us. Yeah. We're going to go to battle. So when the market stops, which we've been and, in. And we did. Yeah, and we did. Hard. Yeah, hard. And then who did everyone look to for guidance? Us. Us. Because all, we just all we did was put on. the accelerator down. Yes. Yeah. But can you imagine that happen now with your energy? Yeah. You'd be no use to no one. Mm. You'd collapse with the I would. the market. Yeah. So at the moment, and this is what I mean about energy and attraction and building and you're going to the next phase. Mm. But you've got to be good enough to say no to some things. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm cool with that. You're cool. I'm not your boss. You're not my boss. Mm. We are business partners. Mm. But it's like you've got to start going, you know what? No. Ash, do this. Mm. Alex, do this. Charlie, do this. And you need to get good at directing traffic as well. Yeah. Your ability to direct traffic right now is, the, I reckon, one of the key factors in all of this. And that's a learning thing for me. It is. I've all, I just do everything. Yeah. So, so let's say if someone listening to this, they don't have people to help them. What do they do? 
So think about the, the, so I got me personally. I need to think about what should I actually be spending my time on. Like in all of the other stuff, can somebody give me a hand with that? Maybe they do need to outsource. Like we talked yeah. about this morning about buyer inquiries. What would we get a day? I reckon we would get five hundred. Yeah, buyer day. inquiries. So you have a been day. answering the best part of five hundred buyer inquiries. Today. This is not about Jordan just doing a few appointments. This yeah. is about you buyer inquiries, Matt's phone, your own life. Um, all no, your no, own appointments, me. my yeah. stuff. Like, like, there's a, a lot. Like, it's probably four or five people's jobs, and and you're in the part where you, it's showing now. Like, yeah. you can only run so long with a big weight on your back. So we just talked this morning about how, getting some offshore help about answering our buyer inquiries potentially. Yeah, we don't know. We're going to explore that. Mm. But can you see the opportunity for growth there? Yeah. But we might find another system that just allows us to sell instead of selling 250 houses a year, we can sell. 300 hours a year, but enjoy it more. Yeah. There's always opportunity in everything. Mm. You've just, this is where it goes back to, are you in the right place? Mm. I feel like I am. Me too. Yeah. And it's like, I, I love being attached to John. I, I love yeah. it. Like, cause I think he's one of the best business brains in the country, mm. especially in real estate. Mm. And I, I like not having to think about that part of it. Mm. What we do is like, let's, let's hear how good we can get at the sport of selling houses. Mm. So um, if you're not there, you really got to think to yourself, well, what, what does that look like for me then? Because you can't fake that part of it. Mm. If I'm sitting in LJ Hooker down the road, I don't think I'd be that happy. Yeah. I'd probably be like, okay, well, I need to find a vibe that connects with me. Yeah. Once you're in that vibe, you've always got that as a base. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Mm. And that's, that's actually really true. And a lot of people are probably in a space, see – I know I'm exactly where I need to be, doing exactly what I want to do, all that sort of stuff. It's just I'm trying to manage the amount of volume. Yeah, growing. But go back two years ago or whatever, I was so pumped. But there's a lot of people that aren't in overwhelm. They're more in like just a bit of a yuck spot. Yeah. And they probably would feel the same as me. Yeah. But not really doing heaps. Well, I think it comes back to where are they attached to. Exactly. What's their environment like? Yeah. You know, are you going to work vibing with... Like I look at the McGrath sign and I I I connect with it. I like mm. I love it. Mm. You know, even though you know I don't talk to John every day, I talk to him quite a lot. But mm. it's something about it. So I like I feel like I'm in the right place. Like you were saying before. Yeah. That part there, and if people are in a bit of a stuck yuck spot, a lot of the time it's like they probably can't see forward. Like I can see forward. I can see your career. I can see my career. I can see mm. building. I get excited about. Like we're we're in the right where are we going? You yeah. got Bugatti driving, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's like now let's just win the race. Mm. So I think if people are a bit stuck, if it's at work, then I don't know. I think your environment has a lot to do with that. And people get overwhelmed in lots of different ways. Like yeah. mine's purely just volume at work, but it's, it's yeah. like imagine being a single mum with three kids. Oh, that for would sure. be very difficult. Well, I've been through a couple of divorces. Mm. You know, like it's. It's a different overwhelm. It is a different overwhelm. But the same, but the same sort of process it to is. get out of it. It is. Yeah. Same. The vehicle. Yeah. Like your vehicle at work, your vehicle at home, mm. even your vehicle in finances, your vehicle in fitness. Like that's why mm. I talk about those things a lot. Mm. It's like they're all like, are you in the right vehicle in all those areas of your life? And mm. if you're not, like let's say you are really overweight. Yeah. Like hugely overweight. Is that a reflection of unhappiness or is it a f- reflection of like you're addicted to some sort of food or is it, a, you know, so... Can you perform at your best when you're like that? It's no different than being in a in a company you don't like. Yeah. It's the same. It's just your your own vehicle. So until you like start to make moves towards fixing that, you can still be overweight but be really excited about where you're going for an outcome. Mm. Well, isn't that I was just thinking about this and isn't it funny that if you're in a bit of like a toxic relationship, when it it ends or whatever, most most of the time the person becomes like they fly super healthy yeah <laughs> look great and all that sort they of fly. stuff so it's the yeah. same as a bad work environment if you're in that like a bit of a bubble where it's not that great too you can totally. quite easily just go down in a hole yeah 100 mm. i love the saying with your partner you the ideal partner is someone who is just as keen for you to achieve your goals as you are mm. like i really like that yeah like it's um and that that's a good indication if you're with the right person you're in the right spot like mm. it's that sort of anyway, I'm not one to really talk about relationships. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm learning, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm <laughs> getting better as I get older. Um, yeah, so anyway, so moving forward, Jordan, what are you going to do from here? Eat that frog, get the big tasks out of the way now, yep, straight away. 
um, prospecting out of the way straight away too. Learn to take some things off my plate, yeah. hand it to the team. Yeah. Find a morning routine again. Yeah. Which I can do quite easily. Um, and just work my way back into the zone. It's not going to happen straight away, but in time I'll get there for sure. Yeah. That's good. Well, let's check in again over the next couple of weeks, see how you go.